I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. And yes, the yes men have struck again. Earlier this week, members of the activist group spoke at the Homeland Security Congress, posing as U.S. government officials. At the conference, they announced a fictitious new U.S. government plan called American Renewable Clean Energy Network to convert the United States to 100 percent renewable energy by 2030. This is a member of the Yes Men who identified himself as Benedict Waterman, Undersecretary of Policy Implementation at the U.S. Department of Energy. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here and an honor to be making this announcement here. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Energy, I'm very excited to announce today a great new plan. It's beginning a process that will do nothing less then convert the United States energy grid into one that's powered entirely by renewable sources. We're going to do it in only slightly more time than it took to win World War II. American Renewable Clean Energy Network, AmeriCAN, is part of President Obama's Climate Change Action Plan. It will put ownership of energy production directly in the hands of small companies, local entities, and entrepreneurs like yourselves. The U.S. currently generates around 10% of our energy from renewable sources, placing us 113th in the world. By 2030, America will produce 100% of our energy from renewables, establishing us once again as a beacon of innovation and progress and as a global leader in confronting the supreme challenge of climate change. And there's always this thing of like, well, how long will it last? Everybody asks that, how long will it last? How long will this green movement go on for? How long will mankind use and utilize this energy? And I think about that. And the sentiments of our ancestors that signed the trees, I'll echo their words. As long as the sun shines, the river flows, the grass grows, the wind blows. We will have energy. We will have these jobs. That was Gitz Crazy Boy posing as an official from the Bureau of Indian Affairs at the Homeland Security Congress. He's actually an indigenous Tar Sands activist. After the Yes Men spoke, they led the crowd in a line dance. To find out more, we're joined right now by three guests. Gets Crazy Boy, who we just heard from in the tape, posing as an official from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, actually an indigenous Tar Sands activist. Andy Bickelbaum is with us of the Yes Men. He posed as Benedict Waterman, an undersecretary of policy implementation at U.S. Department of Energy, and Mike Bonanno, member of the Yes Men, and played the assistant to Benedict Waterman. We only have 30 seconds, but this Congress, the Homeland Security Congress, what is it? This is a Congress that is about uh, contractors who want to to get government contracts to do usually things like fortify the border uh, or, uh, you know, other homeland security issues. Um, they pay a lot of money to go, and we got in and gave an announcement that the U.S. was going to convert to entirely renewable energy by 2030. This was the Department of Energy. I was from the Department of Energy, and I announced this sweeping plan, teaming up with the Department of Defense and the Bureau of Indian Affairs to convert the entire U.S. to renewable energy by 2030, which is entirely feasible, and everybody was thrilled. And they believed you. They be Yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, they believed me. This, this didn't dissuade them. Congress, uh, this National Homeland Security Congress is lobbyists, military contractors, and they believed you. Absolutely. And they danced with you. Yeah, and they danced with us. In celebration, they danced. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to leave it there. Andy Bickleband, Mike Banana, and uh, Gets Crazy Boy. Uh, we